sightings at Bayside Marketplace. On New Year's Day, a large police presence was caught on video surrounding a mall in Miami. It was due to an alien sighting in that area. You guys went crazy, bro. You guys went like aliens. I got goosebumps. I'm like, I have to get back home. Shadowy, dark, solid shapes. Not human, I promise you, these is not human. What's going on? Aliens. Uh, Aliens. Right That's what's going it. on. They're taking over. It's a whole They're coming year, down. Though. They're I mean, 10 feet gonna... tall and they are looming large. Is this the Thomas. first time we've seen three figures, shadowy, eight to 10 feet tall, interdimensional, holographic style kind of humanoid figures? It's the first time of alien sightings at Bayside Marketplace. It seems like something's off. It seems like they ain't telling us all the details. We're not alone in this world. If you're skeptical about it, you might want to tune in. From ghostly apparitions, evidence of extraterrestrial life, and other mind-boggling phenomena, there are incredible moments you'd never believe if they weren't captured. Aliens, we've always wondered about them, but we really haven't had proof they exist. Well, one man's venture into a forest clearing will change your mind. He stumbled upon this alien body. Remarkably preserved, that looked nothing like he had seen before. Startled by the discovery, the man even poked the alien to check. To his surprise, the skin was taut, and the alien felt like it was alive just a few hours ago. But here's where things get crazier. You might remember the Mexican government confirming alien existence, and even presented alien mummies to Congress back in 2023. Well, if you look at the two together, they look eerily similar. You might even call them the same. Now, I don't know where this alien was discovered, or where it went, but if it's anywhere beyond Mexico, we might be dealing with extraterrestrial life on Earth. Bones of Terror what would you do if you suddenly stumbled upon this mess of a skeleton? Discovered by a hiker, this mysterious skeleton has stumped me quite a bit. Because no matter how I look at it, I just can't make anything of it. We've seen quite a few convincing specimens of extraterrestrial life. Which is why I'm inclined to believe this is something that descended from a saucer-shaped plate. With a creepy body and bones quite easy to make out, it still has somewhat of extraordinary leathery-textured skin. This creature might have lost its long battle with life, and we can only wonder what it could be and what had transpired. To be honest, I don't think it resembles any animal I've seen, and I've seen quite a few. Maybe it's the decomposing figure of a well-known animal in a rather compromising position. Maybe not. Who knows? On New Year's Day, a large police presence was caught on video surrounding a mall in Miami. Perhaps you saw this, a video posted online claiming it was due to an alien sighting in that area. Look at that police presence. We look back and we notice some weird shapes, shadowy, dark, solid shapes, not human. I promise you, these is not human. There's a big crowd of people running out of Bayside running between cars, almost getting hit by cars. It was like absolute chaos. Authorities in Miami responded to reports that an alien creature was captured on camera. <gasps> Aliens in Miami have been among the top 10 searches on Twitter's trending tab. And Google News even has several reports questioning the event. Just in case we thought they were little tiny green men, hmm. these are some tall bad boys. A plain view. I know it doesn't look too promising, but wait till you see what's flying out this little window. Filmed by passengers on a flight en route to Paris from Rome, somewhere between the late 90s and early 2000s, this flying saucer made headlines because of its clear day visuals. Of course, it has met its fair share of skepticism ever since the video was uploaded decades ago. But at the time, editing technology for the general public was quite limited. 
so I don't know how anyone could have faked an entire UFO on video. And here's where it all ties down. Ever since the public revealed its disdain over the visual, claiming the UFO's video is just way too blurry, an anonymous source released another angle, filmed from another plane flying close by to the first. I don't know what's true. All I know is that if this UFO is flying anywhere close to my flight, <laughs> I'd be picking up my parachute real quick. Train Sasquatch. A couple was on that sightseeing train between Durango and Silverton when they saw this creature that they could only describe as Bigfoot. Bigfoot? Ah, humbug. It's pretty much what most of us would say if someone told us they spotted the creature. But here, a mysterious Bigfoot sighting is prompting many to wonder if this mythical being is actually real. Yeah. Your camera. Filmed from a couple of passengers aboard a train in southwest Colorado, the weird figure was giant enough to be spotted by countless spectators, and enough to make it seem like the creature was easily walking over bushes. Well, what do you think? Superhuman. Angels. I know they're real, but I never thought I would see one on camera. After all, what else could this giant, mysterious, shining apparition be? Captured in Brazil, the footage shows a golden, glowing figure making its way across hills. Countless people joked it was a Super Saiyan, while others suggested it was simply the camera's glare. The truth? We don't know. It might actually be a ghostly figure, an angel, or even an alien. But probably not a Super Saiyan. An unwelcome guest. And here's one of the creepiest humanoid figures I'll ever see. It's one thing to look that ghastly, and another to be casually floating and walking off what seems like the top of trees. Countless humanoid figures have been recorded for decades, but never has anything been this clear. It's almost like this humanoid creature is actually the Grim Reaper. It also made its way all over the houses, creeping viewers who were terrified to see this. And then, it just disappeared. What's scarier than that? A baggy drip. Someone tell the Grim Reaper he can be seen. Seriously though, what the heck is that? It's almost like a witch making her way down the road. Filmed and posted anonymously, the mysterious figure made countless gasps as it floated all over the streets, as if it was peering for a victim. Nothing explains what it is, and it's too long and stable to be a flying shopping bag. And it's definitely not an aircraft. I'm beginning to think it's actually something like the Reaper. I could be wrong, of course, but how else do you explain this? Fata Morgana. All right, I'm not one to question the laws of physics, but how is this ship defying them? Just from the distance, you can see it clear as day. No, your eyes aren't deceiving you. Rub them all you want, but this ship really is floating midair. Well, kind of. Naturally, those who first stumbled upon the site would wonder if the ship is being commandeered by some member of a galactic community, and if it is actually a spaceship in disguise. Turns out, it really is nature fooling your eyes. This is Fata Morgana, better known as a mirage. This natural phenomenon occurs when layers of warm and cold air bend light, creating these surreal floating images. It doesn't only affect ships. Sometimes, it may even make the water look like it's floating in the air. It's truly one of Earth's weirdest phenomena. Nazca Mummies These eerie bodies of several aliens have spooked the world ever since this footage leaked. Filmed by a couple of raiders, these alien mummies look uncannily like the ones we've seen in horror movies and were captured in the Nazca Caves in Peru. And ever since, countless explorers have raided the caves, but it almost looks like everything has been wiped away. First made public by UFO researcher Jamie Mousen, the creatures in the video may look like they've passed away, but countless viewers pointed out their arms and other appendages seem to be moving. Suggesting these aliens were actually alive and staying still to spook the invaders away. Mousen even presented a DNA analysis to prove these are aliens, but ever since raiders visited the area, they found it desolate. This only prompted more questions. Where did the aliens go? 
And if they're still here, how did they even make it to Earth? Metamorphosis. Scientists from all over the world are trying to figure out what caused a mysterious blue light to spiral in the sky. Just like a scene from a fantastical tale, onlookers gazed up as a mysterious silver ring appeared in the sky. It was as if the heavens themselves had opened up a portal, framing it with shimmering metal. This wasn't a scene from a sci-fi movie. It was real, unfolding above heads turned skyward in awe. Countless people suggested it was one of those weird UFOs that can shapeshift, while others had a more practical approach and suggested something more mundane, like a machine creating giant smoke rings. An outworldly structure. Look how just a huge piece. Oh, it's a big piece of fog right there. It's all mostly glass. Beachgoers at a popular coastal spot stumbled upon something bizarre recently. As they walked along the shore, eyes scanning for the usual seaside treasures, they found something extraordinary. It's rare. And you can walk for days and never see anything. There, half buried in the sand, were intricate glassy sculptures. It's a more pure melted glass. When you find something like this. These weren't your average finds on the beach. They had an almost alien-like quality with their hollow, tube-like structures twisting through the sand. At first glance, you'd think they were part of a modern art installation, maybe even a prank. But nope, these are literally alien. And I'll explain why. These are fulgurites, the aftermath of lightning bolts hitting sand. And while they might not be something we carve out of the sand, they are technically something that visits the Earth. So countless believe they're an artsy demonstration by alien beings influencing the lightning. Oh well, I think Thor would make a pretty good artist. It's a beautiful glass fogger right there. Let me put it up in the light so you can see it. Look at that fogger right there. Beautiful piece of fulgurite. Blinking horror. I don't think they were anything normal because they appeared out of nowhere. A year ago, countless beachgoers visiting the Pacific Beach over San Diego's coast were stumped when they noticed a hovering bright red light. People living in Pacific Beach spotted these lights last night. So what are they and where did they come from? At first, they assumed it was just the light from a ship, but the blinding light stayed put in its position, almost as if it was deciding whether to land or not. They seem to have appeared out of thin air and stuck around for about 15 minutes. If this UFO sighting wasn't striking enough, numerous UFO enthusiasts pointed out this craft looked eerily similar to one filmed over the moon. Here's that visual. Now this was captured by an amateur astronomer in Germany, and although we can't see it, he claimed the mysterious lighted UFO circled the moon for a while and eventually made its way to Earth, where the astronomer lost sight. Now personally, the two appearances weeks within each other seem suspicious to me. I don't think that's a coincidence. And I'm really starting to wonder more and more about life that's not on Earth. Tree Piercing Alien. All right, I'm not one to usually freak out over something small. Uh, well, maybe if it's wasps, but a weird tiny alien biting its way out of a tree? Yeah, no thanks, not today. This unique critter was filmed by a passerby. And I've gotta say, I don't know what aliens are supposed to look like, but this thing might be one. And to make it worse, this is what it sounds like. Imagine stumbling across this when you're walking alone at night. I'd pretty much faint. But what is it? A rare insect species? Or a type of xenomorph blasting its way out of Mother Nature? You tell me. Floating Menace. Forget black cats crossing your path. If this weird ghostly apparition appeared right in front of my car, ooh, I'd be reversing real quick. In a moment straight out of a ghost story, a car driver, armed only with their own camera, recorded a hauntingly ghostly figure floating in the air. For a second, you'd think it was just a giant black shopping bag, but it wouldn't stay suspended like that. The video, once shared, ignited a flurry of ghostly theories. Was it a lost soul? A spectral visitor from another realm? or perhaps an optical illusion that played tricks on the eyes. Uh, you know what? I think I preferred not knowing. Too hot to handle. At first, beachgoers thought they were just seeing things. 
Along the shoreline, patches of sand seemed to bubble and churn, as if the beach itself was boiling under the sun. What is this? This wasn't your everyday beach phenomenon, and it definitely caught the attention of those strolling around the water's edge. These mysterious occurrences, known as sand boils, are nature's little quirks, stirring curiosity and wonder. Sand boils happen when water trapped beneath the surface gets pressurized, then finds a weak spot in the sand to escape. It's like watching a mini explosion of sand and water, a spectacle that has onlookers both puzzled and fascinated. Although it has a perfectly reasonable explanation behind it, many who stumbled upon it wondered if it was a sign. Perhaps the sand was boiling to indicate life, and this spooked countless viewers. So next time you're at the beach, keep an eye on the ground. Who knows what other secrets the sands might be waiting to reveal. A floating passenger. Passengers aboard a flight en route to South America spotted this unique blimp floating carelessly over the fluffy clouds, right as they were flying above Colombia. The passenger who filmed this wasn't even recording the UFO, but was trying to get a good picture for their Instagram. Their surprise alerted the other passengers, who began recording it too. But this UFO wasn't only spotted above the skies, it was also spotted here, right in Colombia, supposedly less than a few hours within its discovery over the clouds. Honestly, I'm quite stumped. I mean, it's one thing to see a UFO when you're making your way to a vacation, and it's another to see one back home. And to never have this UFO addressed? <laughs> well, that must have been frustrating for the witnesses. A giant mystery. What is it? No, it's not! Dude, have you seen what I've seen right now? Looks like giants aren't just for fairy tales anymore. Spotted over the mountains of British Columbia, Canada, this giant figure was seen standing as if it ruled the world. Towering over the landscape, this figure seemed to step right out of legend and into reality. Now, I know most of us would claim it's a human, but judging by the angle and the distance, a human wouldn't be seen that big. The person standing there. No, it's not. Dude, have you seen what I've seen right now? While the person recording was watching, the mysterious giant figure began moving and then suddenly disappeared from sight. This, of course, spooked them, and they're pretty sure the mountains hold giant beings who occasionally sneak down to Earth. <laughs> now that's pretty creepy. Turtle Island. Ever felt like the world was moving around you while you stood still? Well, in a bizarre and somewhat comical twist, a video showed what seemed like an island zipping across the water. The sight was so absurd, it almost had viewers wondering if they'd stumbled upon a real-life version of the mythical giant turtle carrying an island on its back. But the reality was far simpler, yet equally fascinating. The boater's camera, incredibly stable, created an optical illusion as the boat moved. This stability made the stationary island appear as if it was the one moving rapidly across the water, while in fact, it was the boat and the camera that were in motion. Alien Message Most of us aren't strangers to crop circles. I mean, we've seen them appear mysteriously through the night, with no way of knowing how they're made. Even if humans were to make crop circles, there isn't an explanation of how older ones were made. But let's just move on from the mysterious cryptic diagrams that were etched over crops, and move to the ones that were carved over the beach. Beachgoers were stumped to find crop circles over the entire beach in Seal Rock, Oregon. Now, of course, most of us would assume it's just done by pranksters. But a similar beach circle popped up close to the shore of Oya, Washington, and it spanned all over the beach and even formed a unique pattern. Well, if there are any beach-going aliens, I just hope they pick up after themselves. <coughs> Sandy Samberg. Ooh. 
Move over, Pavarotti. The Beaches are showing us how a real natural opera is done with their own version of Singing Sands. No, I'm not pulling your leg. Listen here, and you'll be delighted to hear nature's very own playlist. Although it doesn't sound too musical, sometimes the sand sounds like it's haunted. Well, at other times, it's much less foreboding. So what's really going on here? Are sands really equipped with the power to belt out tunes? Or are they hiding some secret alien community waiting for the perfect time to overthrow us? Luckily, the reason is far less terrifying and is a unique natural phenomenon called the singing sand or booming dunes. This typically happens when quartz grains embedded in the sand coarsely rub against each other every time the sand moves. They end up creating a whimsical tune that can even be influenced by us. First Class Journey In 2015 in Spain, beachgoers were terrified to see a mysterious, twisted, oblong object hurtling quickly down to Earth. They brought out their cameras and started filming. Sadly, due to poor camera quality, we've only got blurry visuals of the mysterious item, but that's enough to give us a good look at this unique pod. Countless scientists pondered over what it could be. They suggested it was part of an aircraft, but no such incidents were recorded. They even assumed it might have been some weird type of space debris falling to Earth. But once more, no such asteroid or meteor activity had been recorded at the time. So we're left with the only plausible explanation, a celestial metapod which may have entered Earth's atmosphere before descending into nothingness. Marines and other explorers looked into the area for quite a while, but they failed to find this metapod. Military's Conundrum Boy, that shit's dropping on Earth, nigga! Just a couple of days ago, a spooky video revealed the extraterrestrial dangers our security forces experience, but keep quiet about. Look, it's moving again, it's moving again. It disappeared. The leaked footage depicts the Illinois National Guard trying to deal with what seems like a celestial object floating mid-air. At a unique angle, the shining object looks like a spacecraft. Naturally, this sighting was ringing more than just alarm bells for the National Guard, which quickly responded by trying to force it down. This nigga's stupid. He's lying like shit, bro. That's in space. That's look at Almost immediately, the mysterious craft started descending, but just as the National Guard clamored to get a hold of it, it disappeared into midair. Start shaking. Hey, bro, that might be a plane, fool. But that might be a plane, gang. But the fiasco doesn't end here. Almost a minute later, the UFO appeared again, and the National Guard tried to force it down once more. They succeeded this time, but ever since then, no one has spoken a word about this discovery. Considering the government has hidden several mysterious captures before, I'm beginning to think this one might never make a public appearance. Oh. No! Hey, bro, it's gonna start shaking. Hey, bro. Blinding evidence. The land of the outbacks always amazes us with unique creatures that seem like they would exist only in our imaginations. But this time, it's a mysterious light that keeps spinning in the air and scaring most onlookers. This site is stumping scientists all over the world. And although they've come up with quite a few fascinating theories, none of them match up. While most believed it was a glare from a passing vehicle or a holographic display, scientists have debunked the theory based on one simple thing. The minute the recorder shifts his camera, the mysterious thing whizzes out of view, almost as if it was looking for an opportunity to escape. Fuck, it's gone. Naturally, this has only piqued people's curiosity. The mystery object was recorded by various people, and they all claim it was definitely something extraterrestrial. But if any of you know more about it, please let us know by commenting below. Fuck, it's gone. 
the perfect prototype. William. William, man, man. I apologize for the quality in advance, but trust me, this video is worth watching. Filmed more than a decade back in 2007. I hate that 2007 was that long ago. A couple of mountaineers in Costa Rica captured a literal flying saucer floating peacefully over the abyss. Although the footage is quite old, it has been declared as one of the best UFO visuals. William. William. And I'm about to tell you why. Initially, when this video was released, countless claimed it was just a prank, filmed by hanging a pan lid over a dainty thread. But this was quickly debunked because the UFO seems to be moving in a way that would make it very difficult to control manually. It's also suspended at an angle where you'd have to be floating right above it in order to hold it. The glare on the UFO is also quite unusual because something metallic would easily reflect the sunlight. And this one just looks a bit dim. Here's a closer look of the same UFO filmed from a separate angle. Not so fake now, is it? William. William, man, man, man. Threat to borders. A bunch of tourists were returning from a beach in Iran when they spotted a glint from the corner of their eye, whizzing in the air like it was a master flyer. Normally, you'd think it was like a cell phone tower or something. I mean, they occasionally blink and might be mistaken for a weird, unidentified flying object. But that's the thing. This glowing dot was filmed moving to and fro and seemed to be traveling in a certain direction. The curious onlookers followed suit, and the glowing blimp led them away from the shore. The unique blimp was moving creepily close to an army base, which is where authorities noticed it and became concerned. Almost immediately, defense protocols were initiated. The military employed techniques to force down the flying UFO, assuming it was a spy plane or gadget from an enemy. But the minute the UFO descended down, military personnel knew it was not a spy tool. They quickly removed it from sight and have refused to comment on it. Smoking gun. 712. 712. Been watching it for five minutes. Rick Ybarra, a DoD contractor, captured a unique blimp suspended in midair right over San Diego on September 10th, 2014. Now, I say a blimp, but this thing was anything but. The mysterious orb was surprisingly still, despite being in an area with high winds at the time. This prompted onlookers to wonder if it really was a blimp or a balloon which would usually, you know, float away. And although you can see a hint of a string for just a mere second, most people argue it could be an alien probe. Some people even questioned if it could be a spy satellite, but the government quickly shot down that theory. And it all gets jumbled up when you realize that while the government was clearly responding to comments about it being potential spyware, it refused to comment whether the floating orb was a UFO. Based on experience, I'm guessing this could easily be a UFO covered up by the government. Appears to have three rods or something coming out of them. A buggy affair. In December 2023, a video of a potential UFO floating above an English street made its way to the public, which quickly commented on how different this UFO looked from the ones we've been seeing before. Although it looks like a small dot, here's a zoom. Now, call me crazy, but it almost looks like this unique metallic orb has tiny legs or appendages. Some eagle-eyed observers did suggest it could be a large insect, and the camera angle just makes it look weird. But the distance between the two electricity cables would influence its movement against the wind somehow, and this critter is surprisingly stable. It also can't be a drone because of its dome-like shape. I tried probing into this, but since it's an anonymous post, and one that didn't get a whole lot of attention, I can't really find anything on it beyond the belief that extraterrestrial beings like to visit Earth from time to time. Where is it? The kid one. Santa's rain. <laughs> 
filmed in November 2023. Just a few weeks before Christmas, this unique shimmer of light grabbed people's attention because it looked weirdly similar to Santa's sleigh. Many thought it would be a flock of birds, but what type of bird glows at night or emits light from its body, right? So naturally, this isn't a flock of birds. And then we see the way it moves and its height. It's not high enough to look like a plane, and neither does it really move like one. So if you don't believe in Christmas magic, well, maybe it's time to believe in UFOs instead. Because one way or another, this does look like an unidentified flying object. Silver Bliss. What is that? What the hell? A little over the Twin Points Park Beach in Texas, citizens captured an enigmatic ball of light, slowly making its way over the trees as if it was conducting a thorough inspection. Almost instantly, people started recording. And when this visual made its way to the authorities, they refused to believe it was spyware and claimed it was the aftermath of a SpaceX launch, which had occurred recently. Interesting. It's exactly. But this is where experts weighed in, as different angles filmed showed it happened in other parts of Texas too, and even neighboring regions. The mysterious orb even emitted a smoke ring, which spooked the onlookers more, and they were eager to find out what to make of it. Sadly, the conversation has since been hush-hush, so we don't really know what it was. That's kind of bizarre. How is it projecting a circle? spiraling away. About a year ago, residents of Motherwell, Scotland and its surrounding areas witnessed a remarkable event in the sky. An object, initially perceived as a meteor, was seen moving in an unusual spiral pattern, captivating onlookers. The size of this object was speculated to be around that of a golf ball or a cricket ball, possibly even larger. Such characteristics differentiated from the typical shooting stars, which are generally small bits of dust that completely burn up in the atmosphere. Even rocket fragments don't move like that. Of course, the minute it became clear it was neither fragments nor meteors, alien enthusiasts jumped on the bandwagon. Well, if they are aliens, they sure do like putting on a show. Mystery and Devastation On May 24, 2021, residents in Indonesia observed a mysterious object descending slowly from the sky into the sea. The object appeared to be long and black with a smoke trail, and it gently sank into the waves, leaving observers bewildered and sparking a flurry of speculation on social media. The object was resembling a deflating balloon. Noting its slow fall and the absence of any light typically associated with unidentified flying objects or meteorites, the local fishermen, intrigued by the sight, ventured out to the sea in hopes of finding this mysterious balloon. However, despite their efforts and the object's slow descent, they couldn't locate it. Even authorities dispatched teams to investigate, but they came up with nothing. I don't know, folks. I think we might be getting closer to alien invasions day by day. Bounce away. Oh, I'm tempted to jump on this sand just like him. It almost feels like nature's own trampoline. But as tempted as you might be, the minute you see this appearing, it's best to run the other way. This is a natural occurrence called soil liquefaction, and it happens after turbulent forces or shakes move the ground. It's almost similar to how heavy machinery at a construction site causes the earth to shake. Except here, the soil becomes ridiculously loose. If you're not getting what I mean, this basically means this is how quicksand takes shape. And although most cartoons exaggerate the effects of quicksand, getting out of it can be incredibly difficult, especially if you've been bouncing over it. So yes, although it's very fascinating, the safest bet is to alert other people and stay away. This video was captured by a student who ventured out to Ifalik Atoll and was able to record this amazing sight. <laughs> Dozens of tunas making their way out of the ocean, almost as if they had no control over it. And they really didn't. A bunch of local fishermen rushed to the sea and pulled out hundreds of tuna. 
It's so amazing, it has you looking quite a few times. The chaos is quite exciting, and makes us wonder how amazing primitive fishing techniques are. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.